Good afternoon, Brownsburg. Today is September 8th, 2014. I'm Clint Fink. And I'm Jackson McKinley. And here are your BHS daily announcements. The History Club will meet on Tuesday, September 9th, after school in the LGI. Find out about our St. Louis trip, Veterans Memorial, and more. Don't just read about history, make it. Attention all freshmen, sophomore, and juniors. Picture retake day is scheduled for Thursday, September 18th. If you are unable to have your picture taken during registration or are choosing to have your picture retaken, please stop by your team office to make an appointment. Attention to anyone interested in wrestling this season. The pain train starts with wrestling open mats this week on Tuesday and Thursday from 6 to 7.30 p.m. See Coach Snyder and U122 with any questions. Congratulations to the Sound of Brownsburg Marching Band as they start the 2014 season with a sweep over Terre Haute South High School. Brownsburg was awarded outstanding music, marching, and effect and received first place this weekend. They host the annual Sound of Brownsburg Marching Invitational at 5 p.m. with the Bulldogs set to perform 818. All are invited to attend. Earlier, Clint caught up with Mr. DeGay to talk about Riley Week and the events that will be going on this week. What is Riley Week exactly? Well, last year the chain link group uh, came to me in the summertime and wanted to see if we could raise money for, for children at Riley. Uh, they picked a week that, in terms of uh, kind of tied around a football theme and really wanted to make that a big, a, big, um, a big event. And so last year, raising money like they did for, for Riley, um, not only brought I thought, the school together, but brought the community together as well. So. This chain link group has decided to do the same thing and, and try to build on what was what was accomplished last year. So we we will take money, we'll get donations, we'll wear, wear short shirts um, that indicate, um, you know, we are we are all for Riley uh, children and all the all the things that go on at Riley Hospital. Um, we're just so blessed to have you know opportunities to give back, and this is one of those opportunities this week. Instead of a day here, a day there, a day here, a day here that nobody remembers, we have a full concentrated week. Thanks, Clint. We are really looking forward to this Riley week coming up. The girls' varsity soccer team played in the inaugural Greenfield Kick and Cancer Tournament over the weekend. In the first match, the Bulldogs defeated Anderson 9-0, with Talia Borum leading the way with a hat trick. In the championship against Lawrence Central, Borum along with Alex Newman, Newman, Carrie Lawson, and Maddie Myers all scored in a 5-0 win. Congrats, ladies. The freshman girls golf team participated in a 12-team match last weekend and were led by Abby Cody, who shot a 98. The varsity team has matches against Greenwood, Martinsville, and at Franklin Central Invitational this week. Good luck. The boys cross country team ran to a 7th place finish out of 14 teams at Martinsville on Saturday morning. Hari Sathy Murai once again led the dog attack with a top 10 finish while teammates Seth Webster, Marcus Fierick, and Devin Boone ran strong races on the day. The junior varsity Bulldogs had an outstanding morning on the 5K course as Michael Powell, Ethan Huntsman, Keaton Mills, Riley Coaster, and Zach Underwood all crushed their times on the same course last year by up to 4 minutes. The boys varsity soccer team played at Danville over the weekend. Late in the match, senior Reese Holder scored an unassisted goal to give the Bulldogs a 1-0 victory. The JV team also came home with the victory, defeating Danville 2-0. Josh Farrick and Zach Karam both had goals. The varsity football team was at Franklin on Friday night and defeated the Grizzly Cubs 34-27. The offense had 456 yards, including a school single-game record from Tokes Akinrabade, who racked up 351 yards and four touchdowns. Hunter Johnson was 8 of 13, passing for 110 yards, and Jose Hacker connected on two field goals. This week is home against Avon. The junior varsity football team hosted Franklin on Saturday and pulled out a 25-0 win. Matt Copeland and Matt Turk each had touchdowns, while Isaiah Henderson ran for two touchdowns. The dogs also fo forced a few turnovers. They will be at Avon on Saturday. The freshman team also defeated Franklin 14-6 on Saturday. The girls cross country team finished second overall on Saturday in a 14-team meet. Girls receiving medals included Brooke Uren, Sydney Montgomery, Cassidy Brown, and Julia Poppenfuss. In the reserve race, the girls continued to put up impressive times. Kirsten Uren led the way. Great job, ladies. That's all for today, Brownsburg. Enjoy your day and stay classy.